Like you said, I mean, explosive, but that's all we've been doing. We've been working on it. we got a whole bunch of uh, stuff going in. It actually really uh, looks good against our defense, uh, going out there and making a lot of big plays, just uh, using each player for what they're, what they're capable of doing, basically. One of the things that Kirby's talked a little bit about is you've got some guys coming in the summer, you know, uh, Pickens and Blaylock and, uh, you know, presumably uh, Cager, the transfer. How tough is it going to be for them after you and one of these guys have been through all this this spring, uh, them coming in and getting caught quickly? It shouldn't be tough. I mean, we got guys, like our leaders this year, I mean, same as last year, but we got a lot of guys that are welcome to, uh, you know, getting them where they need to be to be able to go out there and produce and make plays. We just want the better for the team, so it's, it wouldn't be hard for them at all. In your first G day, you kind of showed out. You had kind of a big moment, and that almost ends up being kind of a foreshadowing of what the rest of your career has been like. Mm -hmm. For other guys who will have their first G day moment on Saturday, how important is that for them to maybe play in front of a crowd, get used to what it's at least somewhat close to a game day atmosphere? How, how important is that for them? I feel it's, it's very important just having the chance to go out there and just, you know, getting comfortable with everybody being out there and knowing that you, you can still make plays with a crowd focusing on you and stuff like that. Uh, getting that out the way, it, it clears you for the rest of your career. There's some curiosity about some of the other receivers that you have in your group right now. What do you see from Demetrius Robertson this far, this this spring? He's, he's explosive. I mean, he's, he's real fast. He's explosive. He's been making plays on the ball. He's been doing everything he needs to do. It's great to hear. How about yourself? How's your spring going? Uh, mine's been pretty good. Uh, like I, I've been focusing on just being a more vocal leader and just making sure I understand the whole offense inside and out and developing, learning a new uh, offense that Coach Cole is going to be plays for us. And how about the – Receivers as a whole, is it, you know, are you encouraged by development and, and yeah, how you this spring? Uh, every yeah. practice, I feel like we've gotten better. So, uh, I mean, that's that's really what the goal was, the defense and the offense. But, you know, mainly with me being around the receiver room all the time, just seeing people uh, taking notes and stuff like that and just learning from the mistakes that we've made previously and stuff like that from the last practice. And uh, that's just been good so far. How much chemistry do you feel like you have with Jake now? You guys have been together for a while. You've caught a lot of pass from him in practice. How much different does it feel now with him going to his third season? You kind of go into that same situation. Uh, our chemistry is off the charts right now. Uh, we, we've been bonding with each other, uh, just making a lot of plays out there on the field. Uh, I mean, we can look at each other and know basically what's on each other's mind without even having to make any signals or say anything. So we're in the same uh, space right now. Do you sense a similar chemistry with the Jake and the other receivers? Or yeah, are y'all all on the same page? I mean, uh, just just with me having more experience with him, it's just a little bit uh, more. But uh, other receivers are still filling into that role, and he's still you know pushing them and doing the same thing. If they if they get the same reads that I get, I'm sure they'll be able to step up in the same uh, plays. A lot's been made about the inside slot receiver position. Have you gotten any reps there? Uh, I have. I've got some there. But, uh, I mean, it's really not my, my uh, cup of tea. But, I mean, I, I'll still get it in. Uh. Who, who have you seen shining there? Everybody that's got in there. Uh, Kier has been shining there. Uh, Erdman has been shining there. Matt has got some play there. Uh, Demetrius uh, got some play there. All of them have went and made plays. They're all explosive players. And that inside slot is about explosiveness. How much What's the most difficult thing about play? You hear that a lot about slot back. It's just a lot involved in uh, – yeah, a lot of motion, yeah. uh, a, a lot of reads, I guess, more, maybe even more than there is on the outside. Mm -hmm. How would you describe kind of the difference in playing inside? Uh, they got a lot of running around to do for the first part. Uh, they <laughs> they yeah. got to flip to each side of formation and stuff like that. Me being on the outside, I'm just sitting there stationary and things like that. But yeah. uh, them going and having to understand, like, different, like, calls and stuff like that to the secondary and uh, who to block and things like that in the run game. So, yeah. It's, it's kind of hard. Are you ready for the, the double teams that are going to come this year? I mean, you, you, you're the leading returning receiver. We've seen you make these unbelievable catches. Surely other people have seen that. How much of a challenge is that? And did you see some of that last year when you started to really come on? Uh, yeah, I saw some of it last year. Uh, I mean, it's not really like a challenge or anything like that. we got enough guys in the room to be able to make plays. So if they double team me, then somebody, you know, will have their chance to make something happen. So. And I'm more than sure those guys will come along and start making plays so they can't double-team everybody. And, and as far as your vertical goes, just seeing you go up over poor Stokes, it looks like Stokes is in great coverage, mm -hmm. and you've gone over him for a couple catches. Do you know your vertical, and what's the relationship like with you and Eric? Because the competition uh, looks intense. I mean, we push each other every day, uh, definitely. Um, my vertical, though, I think it's like a 42 right now. I'm, well, that was in high school, so I'm not really for sure what it is right now. Could but, be higher now? Yeah. yeah. But... Uh, I mean, our relationship with each other, we just push each other to be better. It's a lot of plays that he could have made plays on. It's just I made good adjustments to it, and Jay gave me a, a good ball that, you know, he couldn't do anything about. So that's really what it's been. We've been pushing each other to get better. Downfield blocking is something you really excelled at 
a lot last year. Is that something you sort of as a more vocal leader now? Is that something you kind of get the younger guys to buy into that maybe didn't have that type of role in their high school? Uh, no, I think guys are like seeing like, you know, the payout from me. Uh, I started off just, you know, making plays, uh, you know, doing blocking and stuff like that. And I got a chance to be able to make plays like downfield with the ball and stuff like that. So guys are seeing like, you know, if they can see something happen in the run game, they'll get the opportunity to go in the passing game and make plays happen. So they're buying into it from there. You, you and Stokes go back now, right? Yeah, to, to uh, we played with each other since uh, rec ball, since we were little. So did y'all have battles like that before? Was he... We were on the same team. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, uh, I was playing running back then, he was playing running back, so we weren't really, like, you know, hitting each other or anything like that, but yeah. What kind of difference have you seen in uh, Richard LeCount, a guy you've gone against a lot, too? Uh, he's bulked up. Obviously, mm -hmm. uh, significantly been, this year. Can you tell the difference in yeah, the way he's playing? Yeah, he's been stepping what you're up. Feeling into, uh, yeah, leadership role. That's all it is. Uh, about the guys that've been been around and stuff like that. You know, the leaders that were there uh, once before us, they're, they're gone now. So we got to step in and fill those shoes. So that's really the, the main emphasis that we've been working on. How have you transformed? You, you look pretty cut. I mean, you were big last year, but it looks like you put more time in the weight room. Have you added a couple of pounds? Uh, I mean, I'm actually around the same. I just think my muscles just need to be so. <laughs> Tyson, I mean, you know there. Oh, go ahead. I was say, Tyson Campbell's a young, was a freshman last year, got trial by fire, basically. What, what kind of advances he made this spring as opposed to when he just joined the team last year? Uh, I mean, he learned from it. Uh, he's out there. He's making plays. He's, you know, going against good people every day. Uh, he's getting the opportunity to go out there and get better and things like that. So that's, that's what it is. I see him uh, making plays on the ball, and his confidence level is just rising. So that's, that's what it's coming down to. Who are some receivers that you emulate just from watching pro football, college football, whatever it might be? Anyone you look up to? Uh, it'll be Julio. I really love Julio, the way he goes about his business. So. Uh, the way he goes about his business, his routes, and everything about him, he's just uh, professional. What, what do you think of uh, Matt Landers this spring? Um, you know, what's been your impression to him? Uh, he's came along. I've been uh, making sure he stays uh, focused and everything like that. Just keep on pushing because he's a really explosive player, and we definitely yeah, yeah, yeah. need him this year. But uh, Dwan Mathis, and what have you seen from him as, as practices have gone on from the beginning to where we're at now in spring? Uh, he's been getting better as well. I mean, everybody that came in they're, they're, with the opportunities they've been getting, they're, they're getting better. So uh, he went from, I mean, basically he's learning the offense right now. So he's, he's getting into it and getting into his groove and stuff like that. You can see it. So. How about the adjustment for you? I mean, there were so many guys, I don't want to say ahead of you, but there were a lot of experienced guys last year. And now you look like the go-to guy. I mean, you and Tyler look like the leaders. What has that adjustment been like for you to be, you know, under the wing of maybe some of the older guys to now being, like I said, looks like the go-to guy? Uh, it's, it's went smooth. I mean, I'm, I'm happy that I stayed uh, patient, just waited my turn. But everything about it has been smooth. I mean, I filled into the role uh, good. I like the way I've been uh, leading the group and everything like that. So everything's going smooth. Richard was kind of saying, like, going into the spring, he's been able to focus more on the details, having a full season of starting. So I guess, you know, for you, having a little bit more playing time this fall, how mm -hmm. different is this spring? And you feel like you felt that? Uh, same thing. It's about the details. I mean, we understand, like, the, the offense and defense play for play and stuff like that, but it's, like, the little things that cause separation. Like, on this route, he's at this uh, different type of leverage. You know, I might have to get flatter, things like that. So it's the, the little things that start to matter. What's been your favorite memory from Gina? Uh, it will be my freshman, the freshman, uh, my freshman year, <laughs> my first touchdown. Man. It has to be that. How have you seen the game develop since that year? Uh, just being able to slow it down, really, uh, and understand that everything that's going on. I'm not just out there just like running around and you know trying to make a play happen. Uh, it's not really about me. I know coming in as a freshman, like you know, you know all the uh, four star, five star, all that stuff. It's not really about me. I just want to see everybody else out there make plays. Chase, so you guys might have, I guess, like 11 early enrollees that are going to be uh, out there on G Day. Do you expect they're gonna, you know, live up to their billing and that kind of thing, or you think there'll be a lot of butterflies for some of these guys? Uh, I'm, you know, butterflies are gonna come with it for sure. But uh, once the butterflies go away, you guys will be able to tell that everybody's been working how good they really are. Where are you at on the GPS number? We always hear the littler guys always talk about the speed. They look like track guys. You're a bigger physical guy. Mm. How close are you to the to that top of the chart? Uh, I, I'm about a 21 right now. I mean, I ran one the other day, but. Uh, I probably could do a 22 one of these days if I was running like a, a full speed route or something. Well, I mean, I still run full speed route, but like a just straight down the field type route. So you're in the mix when it comes to top speed as yeah. far as the fastest. I'm not the, I mean, I could be, but I'm, the, well, my volume of reps and stuff like that, I, I got to be able to conserve myself. So yeah, mm -hmm. I let everybody else is just naturally just fast because I, I got to pull some extra gears for me to get there. We were just talking to Ben. Is he the same guy he was, at least when you got here, that you knew him through recruiting? 
Uh, just like like I've been saying, everybody's been stepping up as leaders. I uh, mean, as a as a person, as, oh yeah, as a he, character. He's always kind of been known as Big Ben. Yeah, yeah self-described me, redneck. Okay. He's still he's still the same type of person. <laughs> uh, that's not going to change. That's going to be Ben for the rest of his life. What is that? Like you said, Big Ben, the redneck, and all the all the <laughs> other beautiful things about him. That's him. Time for one more. And what about the, uh, I guess there's three newcomers at DB. I don't know if you've been going up against them in practice or not. I guess you, you might have uh, Daniel and, and Stevenson, Louis and A. Um, any, can you kind of describe what their games might look like? Uh, they're improving. Uh, they're getting better. When they first got here, they were learning everything, just going off raw ability and stuff like that. But now you can see them really like filling into their, their shoes and making big plays. And you guys will see it on TV. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks.